what do you know about this company and this is a very important question if the organization that you are interviewing for is caring about its culture so much now why do they ask this to understand what kind of a professional you are whether you are a proactive professional or a reactive professional proactive simply means you would go and get the stuff done even before someone comes and tells you to do so if you see the need for it and if you are a reactive professional then you probably wait for someone to come and tell you and then you'd get the job done and in most cases in most cases if you are a proactive person you would get hired if you are a reactive person and if that company values proactiveness so much then you would not get hired so the way they evaluate your candidature in this particular situation is to see and assess what they're trying to literally see is your level of preparation for the interview and your level of interest in that opportunity now only when you have that interest in the opportunity you will go and do some preparation about it and they want to see this now what they want to assess is your work ethics and your level of professionalism then how do you answer this question okay let's see what are the steps that i would take in order to answer this first i'll talk about the organization type the company size the product and the services offered next up i'd go and start talking about the company's values that is the mission and the vision of the company and then i would go on to talk about how those company values and the vision aligns with my personal interests and values and then i would finally go on to talk about the company's challenges or the most recent announcements or the products and services of that this is how i would go step by step in order to answer this so what would a right answer look like i'm not saying my answer is the perfect answer for this but i'm saying this is a framework i've followed and i've seen candidates giving throughout my entire career as an hr so in order to get that answer to you i'm picking an example company called paytm out of india which is a financial services organization and uh, here is how i would start talking first i understand this company is into this industry so hi uh, i understand paytm is into financial services they have their own products they have their own app and there is a lot of products within that app the next i understand is the company has been growing steadily so from this number of employees to this number of employees i understand paytm is a 10 or 15 year old company and they have grown from 50 employees to 10000 employees in the last 10 years and they recently turned profitable so the most recent product of paytm was to launch their own in app credit system or their sound box systems in india i think both of the products are really good and this is what comes on top of my mind the next up i'll talk about the geography of the company so paytm i understand is an indian company and uh, pretty much their vast market is in india and i also understand paytm has its subsidiaries which they acquired in some other countries the brand let alone operates in india but different brand name this is what i understand the next step i'd start talking about the company's culture and why it aligns with my values as well here as an example i understand paytm is a very fast moving organization example is it has single handedly transition how indian merchants collect payments from their consumers from the very beginning even before you pay happen even before any other drastic changes in the market happen and i think it aligns with my personal values so perfectly that i want to bring some impact and i want to innovate and i also wanted to get that to people the soonest possible and the only way to do it is to have an culture of fast moving innovation or experimentation and i think i'm open for it and the next item i will talk about this is the impact of the company on the country or the industry i'll continue on from my previous answer as i already mentioned having that impact on a country where fruit vendors or vegetable vendors or anyone who doesn't have access to banking system can take up the help of paytm products and then collect payment from people digitally and i think that's so amazing it brings impact to so many people's life and uh, you know once again it matches with my values and the next thing i'll talk about is the impact of this role on that organization so i'm applying to this data analyst role and i feel the culture and the way i would operate in a very fast working environment i'd be able to bring in some insights out of data and then help every business within paytm to grow and do better in their products and services to innovate and i think this role has more potential and i am super interested and super excited for that and then finally the most recent challenges or the product announcements once again i'll go back to the 
previous example of the sound boxes. I'll start talking about it. And here's how my final answer will look like. I understand Paytm is a financial services organization. It has a lot of different products around services of recharges, financial credits, loans, merchants, you know, using QR codes and so much and so forth. And it's a 15 year old organization, I believe. And uh, it has grown from 50 employees to 10,000 employees in a, just a matter of 15 years. And what I love and understood about Paytm is they are the pioneers of QR payment systems in India, even before UPI happened. And, you know, it was a very long time back. And uh, there were so many different innovations that happened, especially the sound box system where the merchants could place in their stores like vegetable vendor or a fruit vendor who doesn't usually have access to the banking systems uh, and uh, this products have transitioned in their life they don't have to go to the banks and deposit the money physically saving so much money and uh, that's exciting to me and i think uh, the role that i'm applying here uh, interviewing today has some impact towards that and when i have access to data i'll be able to bring some insights around it maybe look at different patterns and some other way i'm confident that the organization is aligned with my values to bring impact and innovate and uh, my role would definitely help that achieve as well and that's what i believe and that's what i understood and uh, the most recent announcements of paytm turning profitable and also the soundbox system which is just like a mobile phone uh, that's a game changer i believe because uh, sound boxes are a little hard to carry everywhere everywhere and uh, this mobile phone based uh, payment collection systems or the devices is going to break through and then it's going to go even further. Uh, this is what I understand about the company. And I think I can understand more about the organization, what internal plans are like and what are some of the plans that you have for this role so that I could align myself with the role and the company's mission. Um, happy to hear from you. This is how I would go and start talking about this particular question. Now it's time for you to go and practice. So go and practice this and then get that interview cracked. And until I see you in the next video, do not forget to subscribe, like and share. And, and if you really want to become a data analyst from the scratch, you don't know anything about it, Culture IR practical courses can help you. Visit the website, enroll yourself. It's completely free of cost. See you around. Bye-bye.